everything I said. You know what? I would go Palutena versus the, the, the mid-tier zoner too. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him even a little bit. If I'm like, man, I really don't know this matchup, I would go Palutena too. That's probably the, the, the good choice there. And I'm not knocking Frozen's Palutena whatsoever. He's obviously one of the top pals in New York, and New York has many. So that is no small uh, compliment mm -hmm. by any means. But right off the bat, you just see him maybe like struggle with some of the cannon to actions already. Yeah. Like he ran into it a couple of times. Right now, you just see Frozen maybe trying to get a little feel for it. But right mm. now, the can is on stage, and unfortunately, it's primed to go the wrong direction. So this is going to be super difficult for Sekai Doggo to get off of ledge, trying to get the forwarder into can. But once again, the can was pointed towards the other side of the stage. Okay. Not back controls again. This is where Duncan is actually going to be at his best in this matchup. Um, advantage is going to be good for him as well, since Pal does tend to have some issues mixing up off ledge. However, big back air on the jump from uh, from uh, Mr. Frozen. Yes. That's going to be a stock. Duggo is one of those, and Duck and Dog in general, one of those characters that disadvantage is definitely the hardest part of the game. Uh, this kind of disadvantage is bad. Um, and, and that down tilt from Frozen was so, mm -hmm. so good. Just launching the kill right back at Doggo. Ooh. And getting the conversion of the up air from the explosive flame and another nail into an explosive flame, which almost took the stock. Oh, and he reacts to air but dodge Doggo, and you die. Doggo, you, you have to watch out for your aerial defensive options against the Palutena because Frozen is just ready to take the stock. That was a oh, death, I believe. Nice. That's sick. Wait. That's sick. That's sick. Excuse me? Yeah, no, that's confirmed. He got... Clay pigeon, clay pigeon, down air, down air. Yeah, I mean the second down air wasn't true, but it's sick. That was so sick. Oh that my god. Nasty. You're nice. What I say? Dude, sick nasty. He's nice. I like the patience from Doggo yeah. as he waited out the um, the jabs from Frozen, just like ready to get up, attack that, and reset neutral. Um. Yeah, and the cut while um. And admittedly though. While the confirmed Sig Nasty still not in a great position, mm -hmm. um, Frozen still basically a full stop. Oh, hold up though. Another one. Uno mas! Back here, nice. Okay. Really, really nice clay pigeon confirms. I can't help but like wonder is like if is Frozen able to SDI that at all? Or I, does he have to just hold that? I think it's actually just a hard DI. I don't know what direction you have to DI. Or I think it's actually might be a DI mix up. I'm not positive. Do not quote me. I don't know anything about this character, and I will openly admit that. And <laughs> I really like what Frozen did there. He used oh my oh, gosh, but the can coming back to hit him. I really like how Frozen is using all of like the active like projectiles and hitboxes just to like sort of extend his own hitboxes. Like you see him doing with the down smash there. That's he wouldn't normally do that on shield. He did that specifically because he could hit something along the way. And that's like I just kinda realized my spare. Not quite yet. But that's like actually really huge versus Cam. Because you're oh that's extended off the can and it's enough. Kinda yep. scary there. Could have potentially blown up and maybe had to attack. But either way Frozen in position where he wins at game number one. Uh, it was in fact a JV. Yeah, JV two. JV two. Yeah. I'm like crazy. Um, I right. like that Frozen committed to the runoff now as mm -hmm. opposed to another down tilt because it's like okay, this is Duck Hunt. Here's some. Of, here's one of the most vulnerable recoveries in the game. Mm -hmm. Slow moving. Um, and the only thing that he can do to really protect himself is have a can in front of him. Right. However, when you Palutena and you have something that's so active and so disjointed, mm -hmm. you know, you just invalidate can and, and there you go. Duck Hunt is just going to get blown up by it. Right. And uh, disjoints in general kind of give Duck Hunt a lot of trouble, especially disjoints attached to fast characters. Um, that is kind of your recipe for characters that beat zoners disjoint and fast. Um, and Palutena obviously has both of those things. Kind of make can make uh, Duck Hunt's life a hell. A character that's like, not too fast, pretty slow, bad aim mobility, bad yeah. disadvantage, and kind of a, a perfect storm for Palutena in terms of match fear. Um, that kind of just works out but for her. You see what Doggo's using a lot is he's making the most out of his Flame 1 mm -hmm. Cannon Clay Pigeon. Yep. Um, especially like out of a lot of strings. Because very similar to Grenade, in, uh, is Snake's Grenade exactly. in a sense. It's mission. just going to blow them both up and reset neutral. Mm -hmm. It um, is like a big trade, and it is a little bit stronger than grenades, in fact, in terms of kill power. Um, so, but here's the only thing is, is that because you are trading, you have to be have a percent lead nearly all the time, where a snake doesn't really mind trading at a percent loss, just because he's heavy. And Duckan is not. Duckan is rather in the midweight of the guys. Oh! In the really, lag. really good explosive flame just catching, yeah. like, Doggo's overcommitment to his zoning, because... Like, he wants to, like, play his game. He wants to play back, and Palkin is just really, really not going to let him. I think that was a misinput of Death Smash from Frozen. Yep. I don't know what exactly he was looking for. Yep. Perhaps maybe an F tilt just to push him off. Yeah, certainly not an F Smash at, um... Or even percent. a dash attack. Yeah. 
Ooh, Ooh dashes in there. Not able to get shield out in time. Okay, now, like, Frozen is... I really like the way that Frozen is pacing this. He's just, like, waiting to see what Doggo is doing so that he could maybe capitalize on it. Ooh. Second in the corner right now, though, is Doggo. Just can barely out. That's a huge again, and that is a nice gunman. That is the strong one coming out and killing there. Um, there actually are different gunmen. I get exactly what the difference is, but I know the short, stubby one with the poncho is the really strong one. Yep. And like once again, like you see Doggo like over committing at long range to like throwing his can with F tilt. Um and Frozen just gonna respond oh. by just explosive flaming nice. him to flee. And uh, that is another mix that Duggan does have out of the uppy. He can aerial out of it. Um so just another option for him once he if he ever has to go high. Obviously the mix that mix is limited against Oh goodness. <laughs> that was a hard read. Did not pan out, but no punish, so Yeah, it was a hard read, but oh, honestly hold he's reading a whole different book. Yeah. I really like the use of the can here, just to like um, aggressively like stuff out Frozen's attempt to um, to frame him, like with the down tilt. Mm -hmm. So just like a really really great way oh. of just like saying get off. But that is gonna be the down throw into the frame trap because Doggo unfortunately air dodged in, using the most out of his air dodge to mm -hmm. come back onto stage. Ooh, that's like not safe. Uh, Doggo not with a big punish, but back into catch on the roll in and Frozen. A decent lead here. Duck, uh, Duck Hunt, as we mentioned, has trouble killing, but not if you get the confirms. Oh, he, barely missing out. Yes, he barely missed on the execution there, though he had the right idea. Um, right now, I feel like Frozen's had like a pretty dominating lead this entire set. Not dominating, but like just like a gentle lead of he always had the percent advantage, he yeah. always had the stock advantage. It hasn't yet felt like once Frozen has been at a disadvantage. Um, oh? Mm, missing up his neutral, reverse neutral B. Definitely was not intending to explosive frame the other direction. Ooh, a big nair for Frozen. Putting a uh, on back in the corner again. Advantage for Frozen, this should be a stock. Ooh, Ooh. shock that did not catch the air dodge in. That move lingers for a absurd amount of time. I think like 17 or so frames. So, so wow, that's so connected. I love that like movement from Frozen because uh -oh. he's... Mm. Off he goes. Duck hunt. Unfortunately, going to be out of the tournament. However, though, a valiant performance at the very least from our invader from Chile. Did an excellent job. Shoutouts to Duckman in the chat. Um, all of you spamming your dog emojis. Mm -hmm. emo em emotes. That's not what they're called on Twitch. They're called emotes. 